Hi, Yarnabees! It is February 3rd, Monday. Tomorrow is my oldest daughter's birthday. Happy birthday, Ashley! Well, tomorrow. <laughs> uh, I got Happy Mail. Well, it's more of an acquisition. But uh, I've been waiting for these. Yay! Um, Ella from No Catchy Name. I had kind of spied a couple of bags that she was making. <laughs> and it was like, mine, have to have them. <laughs> so they finally came. I am so excited. Um, I didn't realize it, but I bought two of the same bag. Didn't realize I did that. So, I post, I put it in a box today and shipped it off to a Yarny sister. So, um, this one I saw and I fell in love with it and you'll know why as soon as you see it. Uh, what I didn't realize is that the wings are actual, actually um, glittery because on the picture it didn't show up that way. So this is, um, I love this. This is so amazing. Whoop. Look at that. The little bees. And can you see the sparkle? I don't know if you can see the sparkles. Can you see the sparkles? Hopefully you can see. But oh, they are so adorable so adorable and she put the blue matching um, material on the inside and it's a drawstring. I am loving this bag. So I have a couple of whips that I need bags for so yay! <laughs> so this was from Ella and No Catchy Name. Um, I just, I just absolutely love this one. I thought it was perfect. And it came with a little notions pouch. How adorable is that? It's so cute. So, so cute. Absolutely love it. And then I saw, I saw this one first and no, no, I saw this one after. And she posted it on her Facebook page. And I was like, um, Ella, can you add that to my, my cart, please? <laughs> I've been waiting for a black llama bag to show up somewhere. I figured somebody was going to make one. And uh, she did. Yay! I finally have a llama bag. Look at this, though. The, the llamas have... Um, um, hats on, like toques on, they've got yarn on their backs. I mean, it's just, it's so adorable. I absolutely love this bag. And again, it came with a Notions pouch. That is so cute. So cute. Isn't that adorable? I just love it. I, look at that guy. It's <laughs> Ah, so thank you so much, Ella. I am so I'm over the moon happy with these bags. They are fabulous, 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 and they're going to get used quite quickly. Oh, and this one, the llama bag has a boxed bottom on the on on the bottom. <laughs> so yeah, I'm I'm just so happy with these can't wait to use them okay I'm gonna kind of uh, mix up a couple of things on this it's not just gonna be um, an acquisition happy mail so look at this I you know what I'm very new at making garments to wear that didn't even make sense garments to wear of course you're gonna wear garments right 
Oh, my brain is going to come back to me at some point. I'm sure of it. We'll see. Anyway, um, this is the sweater that I was telling you about that I had started to make the V collar and I messed it all up and had to frog the top. Uh, and then I just made it straight across. When I started making this, I was, to say the least, a little nerved. Unnerved? Um, I didn't think it was going to look very good. I was really worried because I used a lot of hygge yarn in this. And when I got the arms on, I was like, yes, I did it. I tried it on. It looked great. Uh, it felt wonderful. I mean, it's just the hygge yarn just hugs you. It just feels so nice. Um, I'll probably insert a picture of me with it on but it's I just absolutely love this sweater love it the arms are 19 inches long um, and it's goes way past my butt anyway uh, but then I'm, I'm kind of chesty so it kind of raises it up a little bit what I did on the collar and no, I did, I did around the collar. Remember I was telling you that I wasn't sure if I wanted to put a cowl neck on. I think this would look beautiful with a cowl, like a hanging cowl neck. Um, but I decided for my first go around, I was just going to do it this way. But what I did was a crab stitch all the way around. And I just finished it off beautifully. So happy with myself. <laughs> um, so yeah, I was really happy with that. And so I'm, I'm going to have to make another one, <laughs> probably just for me. <laughs> so, um, it does, you do have to wear like a camisole underneath it or a t-shirt or something because it is kind of holy, like not big holes, but it's, you know, it's a granny square, right? This whole section is, you can't tell because it's all one color, but it was all one big granny square. So I guess I finished my granny square challenge for this month. Ah, yeah. <laughs> ah, yeah. <clears throat> um, also, I was telling you guys that I was making a sweater for my sister in the beautiful color that is her eyes. Actually, this is like her eyes, but this one is, I just absolutely fell in love with this yarn. Well, it's, uh, was this the super saver? I think this was the super saver. I'm not crazy about the texture, but everybody keeps saying that when you wash it, it washes up really nice. So I'm hoping that it does. <clears throat> um, here's the one side, but it's a beautiful tealy blue. It actually looks more blue on the camera than it is. It's more of a darker teal. Uh, and then that's the arm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish the bottom in this gray. So it almost looks like you've dipped the sweater in gray. Right? So that's going to be the sweater. Uh, I still have this side. I have to finish it up a bit. I got a couple more rows to do. And then I can start... Um, putting it all together and then start on the bottom. My sister's like me. She likes to have sweaters like past her butt. So yeah. Haha. -ha. <laughs> so I'm, I'm really so far so good. So have a so, right. <sighs> so far I'm happy with the way it's turning out. Uh, she doesn't wear hats or anything. So I'm not going to put a hat with it. Which is kind of sad, but you know, whatever. So, anyways, George and I started talking about um, how we're going to do this uh, auction thing. And we came up with a couple of ideas. I still have to get a hold of um, 
<laughs> Blanking it. I want to say crystal, but. Oh. Yeah, blanking it. <clears throat> Anyways, <laughs> somebody had done an auction for a, you know who she is. Like, come on. Do, 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 do. Oh, man. Um, anyway, she did an auction for a blanket for cancer, I believe it was. That was last year. Uh, I think it was closer to the beginning of the year. Um, but anyway. Oh, come on, Sandy. You know her name. Come on. Pull it out. Pull it out. Anyway. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, um, I think that's all I had to show you today. I talked to my, I didn't talk to my sister. I've been uh, texting with my sister. She seems to be, she's, she's got a kind of a laundry list of things she wants me to bring. <laughs> so she must be feeling better. <laughs> um, yeah, so anyways, uh, again, I, I just want to say thank you so much to all of you for um, everything that you're doing for my sister. Oh, that's what I wanted to say. George mentioned this and I, I was like, oh yeah, I should say that. Um, <clears throat> Rosalie from Yarn It Out put out a video for me. Um, I wasn't expecting her to do that. I Thank you, thank you so much, Rosalie. Mm -hmm. I love you to bits. Um, <clears throat> and there's been so many of you that have shouted me out and um, and helped me out with this journey that my sister is now on. For those of you that don't know, that are new to my channel, uh, my sister was just diagnosed with brain cancer. It's been a really rough couple of weeks and we've been um, going to and from the hospital that is not in our, our city. Uh, it, it's been a real strain on the family. It's been a strain on <clears throat> my brother-in-law um, they are, my sister is a very proud woman. She never asks for any kind of help. Um, so this has helped her tremendously, tremendously. And she doesn't even know it yet. Um, cause I'm not telling her yet. <laughs> Although she's trying really hard to get on the internet and watch my videos, which is something that she's never done before, really. Um, and I'm kind of glad that she doesn't have internet yet. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so we're trying to help her out. Uh, I have my email link down below um, if you would like to make a donation through PayPal. If you can't make a donation, I totally get it. I totally understand. So what I'm asking is maybe to send a greet, uh, <clears throat> uh, get well card to her. Um, care of me uh, that information is down below as well and maybe crochet her a little heart or crochet her a little angel and like a little ornament and send it in the envelope um, I'm not going to be opening any of these envelopes I am going to be taking them to the hospital and letting her open them um, I doubt I'll be able to get any video footage of that <clears throat> I might be able to because she she she's not going to want to go on camera. She's she's one one of these types of people that okay now I have to have my hair and makeup have to you know and even then I don't want any pictures taken. <laughs> so, um, but we'll see we'll see how it goes. Um, what else? Oh right. Uh, so what I wanted to mention to you guys is all of the donations that are coming in a hundred percent a hundred percent of the proceeds are going to my sister and her husband we are not the, the rest of the family is not taking any of that money out for gas or anything that we need we are paying for all of that on our own so a hundred percent of it is going directly to my sister um, <clears throat> It's getting transferred into her account and we don't see any of it, okay? Um, and, it's, and with the um, 
the auction pieces that will be coming up, 100% uh, of those proceeds are also going to be going directly to my sister. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I think that's everything I wanted to say. Um, what would you like to see auctioned? Yeah, there's a question for you. Um, would you want to have a fish hat auctioned? Would you want to have a cowl and hat set auctioned? Um, like, give me some ideas. Give me some ideas because everybody, you all crochet. So it's really hard for me to, um, to say, oh, hey, I'm going to auction this off when you can make it yourself. I, I get it, you know, it's a, it's made by me, you know, and <clears throat> you would like to have something that's made by someone else. I get that. But, um, I would like to know, you know, uh, if there's something else you would like to see auctioned. Uh, yeah, I can't even, oh. I think I might have an idea. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking maybe I'll put a box together and uh, like with some gifts and yarn and I'm just looking over here. I still have a pair of llama pajama pants. Yes, I do. <laughs> So maybe I'll auction off a box of stuff as well. Let me know what you think. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go now. And um, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Thank you for all of your support and love. Um, it, it does not go on deaf ears, so to speak. It's um, we're taking it all in and holding it tight and close to our hearts. Um, I'm reading every message that I'm getting in. I try to heart everyone and try to say something in some of them. Um, I am trying to watch people's videos. I think I'm caught up. Mostly. <clears throat> um, so, you know, I am hearing the well wishes as well. Uh, yeah. Okay. I will talk to you guys later. Oh, I almost said set as line and have a blessed day. <laughs> wow. Okay. I, I'm hearing all these <laughs> things every time I say, hey, everybody. I'm hearing that everybody needs somebody. The, the Amazon commercial that we heard all through this, the winter. That's still rings in my bloody head <laughs> anyway okay I'm gonna go I'm gonna go have some coffee or something because I think I need it <laughs> okay I love you all I'll talk to you soon Mwah! bye <laughs>